resources. I feel like we should talk, we should save this now to round up this segment. Let us talk about sabotage because we knew during uh, President Muhammad Obari's era, he tried to to boost local production by shortening the border so that we would focus on the things that we are producing here in the country. But still we still have people who are smuggling goods into the country. So if we still have something like this playing out in the future where they are trying to encourage local production, but there are people whose basic income, whose source of livelihood is through getting goods from outside the country to inside the country. Definitely their business is going to take a hit and then we see our people like this who encourages things like smuggling. So what role too do Nigerians still have to play in ensuring that we really utilize local production to boost our economy? Firstly, um, you mentioned the former uh, president. president. Yes. You know, when he closed the border, if I, if I remember vividly, he has, it's because of uh, rice, right? You know, the, the, the close of that border is, is, is untimely, you know, it doesn't plan well. Because you have to, because you, before you, you stop importation, there must be excess. You must have surplus. Alright? Immediately you close that border, okay, how much is our local rice now in the market? I call somebody from uh, Benin Republic this week. If I tell you how much they are selling rice there, up to today, rice is still cheaper there. So, I expected the government at that point make farming a very lucrative business. I'm a farmer. By God's grace, I just acquired some, proper, some properties where I want to go into farming. I have a friend from Kano that's, 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 that's uh, studying in UK. He came to my office and was telling me that he has a friend that that's his friend. The school in UK. He said this friend is, in fact, the guy is in money. I even thought that he's in oil company. He's, he's a farmer. So what I expected, you know, most times, the, all these advisors, they are not advising our leaders well. That's the problem. They are not being, giving them appropriate advice. Close the border. How many farmers is in, in how many f rice farmers do, do, do have? Most, in fact, almost all the farmers have run away because of, of, the, of the security. So, you even this one year compulsory service they are giving to our, our, our new, new graduates, if they put them in farming, we have God so much blessed us with anything you put on, 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 on your land, it's growing in Nigeria. So, now, those things, if we have excess rice in Nigeria, producers, nobody wants to bring the foreign one. For what? If we have manufacturers, car manufacturers in Nigeria, excess, nobody wants, and it's good, nobody wants to go and buy the other one. It's important that even our leaders are not even, they are not leading by example. The senators just entered the, uh, enter office and, and the, and the uh, you know, order for uh, 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 SUVs. They could have even if I thought they could have asked for our local our, our local work. Yeah. So the government should make farming attractive. Okay, let me tell you probably to, 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 to round up whatever. I have a freight graduate that came to me. She said she wants to go into farming. She did, she did computer science. He has a, the, the father has a, a, a land from the bridge, uh, the in front side, they, she wants to use it for, for, for farm beds. Based on what I'm hearing as, as, as a, uh, a social leader from Minister of Agriculture, I, would, I took her to uh, Ikeja here, where we have a uh, bank of agriculture. Hmm. I thought what they are telling us on the future on the super on television is true. I went there with her by myself. The condition they give her, my dear, is like a, a camera passing through the, the eye of, of, of the needle. So after giving her that, those conditions, she cannot meet up. We came back. I supported her. She did her first supply 
after you know beds, you know after about six months, she make a lot of money. You will see all this uh, talking or whatever is being brought to. They are bringing from from Kotonu. So why can't the government encourage all these things? Okay. So if we have enough, nobody will go there. All right, thank you so much. It has really been informational. It has really uh, it has been educating. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Crackers. Thank you. And that's Comrade Xavier Uche, the National President, Association of Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria. So this is where we join the cutting close on today's episode of Firecrackers.